Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another car build. My apologies for the late upload, uh, but I did get home from work at 7. By the time I had dinner, I got on, and then there was an update. It was like the longest update ever. For some reason, it took me so long. Uh, but now we've got a video. I want to smash this out quickly for you guys. That sounds mad. Um, <laughs> but last episode, we made a Nissan Skyline R34. Uh, it's on the screen right now. If you want to see that, just check out my last episode. Uh, such a sick tune. It's got the power. It's got the stability. Um, that's what I'm going to be aiming for in the next car as well. So, on to the next car. Um, let's go all the way to N. It's going to be another Nissan. Uh, come on. Where is it? Hit. Nissan. There we go. Another Nissan. And we are going to be going with... Ooh, I was going to do the 240, but now I've just seen the S13. Okay, let's go to the 240. Let's stick to my plan. Um, next episode, I will make the S13. So three Nissans in a row. Give that a like. Slap that like. <laughs> um, so, okay, we got some paints right here. Kind of like that one. Let's just throw that on there why not let's try and make it look different because I normally just have like a plain car so let's try and go with something different here alright saving content here we go this car is going to be the best car ever and also I'm um, trying new settings to record my video uh, to try and make it a little bit easier uh, because at the moment I'm using three different software to record my audio video and my webcam um, so I'm trying OBS just to do the one. Uh, so hopefully it's not too bad. I hope it works out pretty well. Shout out to Zefo with the message. <laughs> and let's go out of here and let's get into the upgrades. Yes. I am going to get the body kit preset. You have to, right? Look at that. You have to. <sighs> yes. Rocket money, yes. I kind of don't want to because I want to make the car myself, but that just looks crazy. It just looks out of this world. So let's go into the custom upgrades right now as well. Uh, rear wing. We have to go with the standard rocket bunny. We have to. Look how sick that car looks. I'm so hyped that these they've put um, the rocket bunny in this game. It's just crazy. Uh, so we got the V8 in here. Um, hmm. Do I want the V8? So we've got six. I don't think we want the V8. I don't know, 650 horsepower. Should we just leave it at. Yeah, let's, let's leave it at 650 horsepower. It gave us the V8. We might as well stick with the V8. Rear wheel drive, just what we want. Aspiration, I'm not going to touch that. Uh, body kit, rocket money. Okay, perfect. We got the rocket money conversion on there. And we are going to put some tyres on here. And we are not going for the Horizon race tyre compound. We are going for street tyres, yo. Oh my god, they completely... Complete... Ah, oh, does this mean... So I haven't put a rocket bunny on my cars yet because I was saving it for these builds. But does this mean that the engine does not run 650? It's just all the upgrades that have been put on. Um, I hope not. Hope I can uh, downgrade it a bit because I I don't know I don't like running that much power. Like, I normally run about 500 to 600, but. That's their nice wheels. I like them. Let's go with them. Okay, we got some sizes. I just want 18s. Yeah, 18s good. 18s is a nice size. Okay, drivetrain. Everything in drivetrain you want it race. There we go. Let's just do that. Race drive line and race diff. Okay, so there's quite a lot of these upgrades already on here. So that's good. Okay, race brakes, suspension, we want off-road. 
I know it looks derp at the moment, but it won't do. Uh, we want sport, front and rear anti-roll bars, race uh, roll cage, which is good, and race weight reduction, which is good. Yeah, I think there's going to be loads of upgrades already on. Yeah. So, I am going to start by taking off some of this. Um, let's just try and get this down. 558, five, there we go. So what you want to do is take down the valves to stock and take down the camshaft to street and then we're down to about 550 which is in my range. It's in my range. <laughs> oh god. I uh, just want to go through and check that the flywheel is. Yeah. Okay, we got rice fl rice. <laughs> bruh. Absolute bruh. So we want to install that setup. There we go. 558 horsepower. Really light. Yeah. That's the uh, horsepower range I want to go within. Uh, I don't know as well. Uh, because I haven't run the Rocket Bunny. I don't want to run the Rocket Bunny. I have run it on the S15 actually. Um, but I don't know if it adds any extra downforce. So of course it is a body kit. And it's going to add uh, downforce. But I don't know how much extra on this game it feels like. So bear with me while I tune this. Uh, I'm just going to slap on just my standard standard tune. Um, so let's just go. Let's just leave that at 30. That's fine. Gearing. They look pretty short already. So I'll just leave them as they are. And then if we need to change it, we can. 3.5. Just go with a standard setup at the moment. This isn't the finished setup. Because we've got the off-road suspension, you are going to want to stiffen the suspension. You don't want it that soft, unless you love body roll, then that's completely up to you. Uh, but as always, I am going to say this tune is tailored for me. Um, so you guys might use it and it might not work. So just bear in mind that it is tailored for me. Hope it does work for you guys though. Um, but this is just a standard tune at the moment. Uh, this is not the finished article right now. Uh, so we want to lock the differential as well. Okay, there we go. Apply that. Sorted. Okay, so that's all the upgrades. That's the base tune. And now we can get slide in this car. Okay, where are we? Let's have a look. Okay, we're over by the airfield. Um, where do we want to go? I want to go over here, actually. There's a nice road somewhere. This road? I think it's somewhere around here. I don't know. It looks like that road. Let's just go with it, okay? Let's just teleport over here. And let's just drift around the streets. There's a good line. Uh, just I was online and I was just drifting around the roads, just trying to find something. Um... And I came across a nice line, but I can't remember where it was, so it <laughs> doesn't really help, right? <laughs> oh, look how sick this car looks. Oh, the sounds. The V8. The V8. Oh, oh, another thing as well, from the update, they did say that they made wheel improvements. So I'm just going to check. Uh, linearity... There's nothing really new here. There is something new because it never used to be like this. But I can't tell what's new. I don't know. It still looks the same to me. Okay, let's go. The sound, oh my god. The sound of this car. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Shit! That sounds absolutely crazy. Gear is too short. Gear is too short. Okay, let's <laughs> let's jump straight into the tune and just make the gear in longer because that was crazily short. Okay, that's the wrong way. We want to go the other way. Let's just go to like. Let's try that. Three point zero five. Let's try. It. I 
I can't get over the sound of this car. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy how this sounds. I can't get over the sound. Oh my god. Okay, alignment. Let's take down the camera in the front. It just feels a little bit loose in the front, so I'm just trying to get a tiny bit more grip in the front. Whoa, that curve fucked me. Oh, there's a board. Win. Uh, like I said, I can't remember where this line is. I'm trying to look for it while trying to tune the car, so bear with. This car screams! It's screaming at me. It's crazy. That curb just ate my tits. <laughs> what, what did I just say? What the hell? I don't even know. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to grip this car up a bit. Because this is uncontrollable right now. Compared to like my um, R34, this just feels so weird. Okay, I know I said i got to grip this up a bit, but I'm just going to take up the tire pressure in the rear, but I'm going to down the camber. Let's go down to 1, and in the front we can just go down to 2.5. Let's see if this... I'm just trying to grip the car up a bit, just so I can actually control it. Definitely control the car a little bit better now. And there's definitely, definitely is enough power in here. One second guys, if you just heard that sound, it's my Xbox Smart Glass, because I've got Windows 10. It's like whenever someone sends me a message, it comes through on my PC and I forgot to turn the volume off. So, my apologies for that sound. Do you know what? Let's take this over to the car park over here. It feels okay at the moment, but I want to fine tune this. I want to get like a, a line that I'm familiar, familiar with and I want to hit this car. Here we go. Feels quite nice actually. It really does actually feel quite nice. Okay, that was not good. <laughs> oh god. It's with this wheel, I don't know if it's because of the the so called improvements they've made, but it feels different. I don't know if it's the car or it's the improvements, so let's just down that. Let's try to get this feeling in the wheel that I'm used to on this game. It's this V8 is more than enough. Oh my god. It feels weird. 
I don't know if it's because of the improvements of the car. Give it a little bit of a session just to see how it feels. I think it was because of the so called improvements they've made to the wheel. This car transitions so nice though. nice after I gave it a few runs and I got used to it it did feel nice one thing is it just doesn't feel that stable in the rear um, so I'm just gonna try and grip this up some more and then I think it's more than enough because I said I wanted to grip up right I wanted to go down let's just try a zero camber because that's gonna give us the most surface area on the tire so That feels a lot more stable. You can probably see how you can probably see how stable it is right now. That's my fault. Don't know why I dabbed the handbrake then. This feels very nice. Look at the stableness. Look at it. That's what I look for in most of my uh, drift cars. Mostly just stableness. Whip it. Look at that. Look at it. That transition though. Okay, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with that tune. Okay. Now let's show you it. Just in case you didn't follow through on all the um, all, all, all the upgrades. Actually, no, the upgrades are at the start. Let's just show you the tune. Um, pause the video on the bits you want to copy down. Um, there's the tyres, gearing, alignment, anti-roll bars. Actually, with the alignment, I am just going to camber it up just slightly. It did feel a little bit grippy, um, so I don't know on the controller how that's going to feel. Uh, but I am going to just slightly, slightly camber that. 
um, anti roll bars, springs, damping, arrow, rake, and the differential. So if you want any of those, just pause it on the bit that you want to copy down. Um, also, I'm going to... Uh, I was so confused then, I never saw that option before. Um, I am going to upload this onto the storefront. Um, the store, onto the whatever it is, I, I don't even know what it is. Uh, so we're going to call this uh, episode... Episode Space 2. There we go, there's the tune. I'm going to upload it onto the store just so you can go on there, download it, so you don't have to get all the all the upgrades yourself, you can just go on there, just get the tune. Obviously you won't be able to edit the... Oh sorry, <laughs> bit of wind. Uh, you won't be able to edit the tune, um, but it's on there, it's easy. Uh, for the people that don't mind them having a lock tune, uh, it is on the store for you. Just go onto uh, the tuning screen, press the select or these two box button, and then you load setup, and then on here you've got suggested tune. Press that select or the two box button thing and then you can go to creator just type in Kevin Toll the same as my YouTube name and it will pop up so there we go that is my Rocket Bunny 240SX it looks sick it sounds sick it's stable as fuck you gotta get it you gotta get it just look at it just look at it this thing is crazy it's so stable for such a such a crazy car, it is so stable, so hope you guys cop this, if you do, uh, leave me a comment below, uh, just saying how you like the car, um, if, you're on the, if you're on the controller, uh, let me know how it's going for you as well, uh, let me know if it works pretty well, um, but yeah, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys! next time.